Yeah. Looks like we're gonna be starting now. Apollo Kage versus Onin. Three, two, one, go! So we're gonna start off here. This is a matchup I've definitely seen a lot, and it feels like it's not bad for Snake. This matchup feels like he has all the tools. Like you've seen Kurt versus Akula, you've seen Kurt versus basically all the Japanese Steves. We've seen Apollo Kage play Onin a few times. And this matchup really doesn't seem too bad. However, at the same time, Steve just have, does have tools to deal with every situation. But Snake is another character that has these same tools to deal with the situation. Grenades can disrupt mine cards. Grenades can disrupt these uphill combos. And grenades just such a powerful neutral tool because you can just throw it over the walls. And that's just so good for dealing with them and just like making Steve actually play the game more. Great parries though by Paul Kage. He's gonna catch him with the up air and he's actually gonna take the first stop. Stock only taking 14%. Very well played by Paul Kage there. And now, since he has a lead, just grenades galore. And let's just see how Onan's able to get back in the game here. And these grenades just taking all the trades, just taking all the hits. And it's just so hard for Onan to get back in the game now, which is where Steve struggles, is when he's down, he's short, he's stubby, he's slow, he doesn't have that same ability to get back in the game that other characters have. Like, see, he, he has to swing, and then he just gets hit by a grenade and takes a full nair forward, takes 30. And now the Paul Kage doesn't have to take any risks, he can just play slow, throw grenades, he lands one up tilt or up there here, and it's just, it just stops over. And see, he just... Good grenades. Gonna get hit by the backer though, but he should be able to make this one back pretty easily. And let's see how he's able to fight his way back on stage. A great spot dodge though. It looks like they're gonna trade places right here. Great minecart out of the corner by Onan to be able to get back in. And Apollo Kage though, just gonna go high. Just gonna fight his way back in with grenades in C4. He lands one up tilt, one up air, and this is going to be stock. And it looks like that's gonna be it right there. Three stock to one lead by Apollo Kage right now. And yes, as someone did point out, we do have three of the best Steves in the world in this bracket. Actually, four of the best Steves. So we have Susu, Crepe Soleil from Europe, and then in addition, we do have Onan and uh, Akula as well. So get ready to be seeing a lot of Steves today. We all love watching Steves. It is a fun, it's uh, my personal opinion, much more fun than Sonic to watch. I know that might be a popular opinion, might not be, but as far as the top tiers go, Steve at least has some like, interesting setups, does a few things that are interesting. Sonic, on the other hand, you know, he kind of just looks been death. Is... Okay, Jazzo beat Lemon 2 1, which is surprising because Game 3 last hit, very nice by him. Because as I was saying earlier when it was going to be on, Omega kind of beats Jazzo every single time they play. Like it is, like literally, it's like a 20 set win streak. So the fact that the, the playstyle difference just might be crazy. Between those two, that Lemon was able to, or Jazz was able to win against Lemon. Okay, Neo beating Oolong. That by seeding was expected, although Oolong does have a lot of practice in the corn matchup, so did think he had a fighting chance there. <laughs> no, we MDVA as a region does have a lot of corn players, so Oolong has definitely played that one. Icy Mist versus Oolong. They probably played before, right? Icy Mist was used to be the right? Yeah, they're But I've, I've seen them down here for like Xander. It's a lot. So they've at least been a lot. Yeah. Probably but then back to this game that's going right now, it looks like Apollo Kage is just still playing it slow. Playing it, like, just still has the lead here. These grenades are just making it so hard for Onan to get things going. And But he is going to take that lead, or take that stock right now. But is there any way that Onan's gonna be able to fight back in the game? 0% to 150, 165 now. He dies to basically every aerial here, so let's see what he's able to do to fight his way back into the game. After another 30 or 40% here, he's gonna start dying to raw grenades. Like, there's only- he really needs to start fighting his way back in soon before he just takes even more chip damage from grenades and just can't do anything. And literally one grab by Snake, it's over, a couple more grenades and it's over. And let's just see what he's able to do here. 196, I think raw grenades in the air are going to start killing at this point, or if not now, very close to now. And there's just no incentive to approach for Apollo Kage, and that raw down tilt's just gonna kill there. That move, again, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't kill normally to like 200%, but when you get to 200%, it's... I believe Snake's all of his tilts are frame 6 or faster. Like, he has some of the fastest tilts in the game, so just the ability to throw out those low commitment, super fast moves. The fact that he's able to just throw out those low commitment moves is just so nice. 
But as once you get to kill percent, Snake just tosses grenades at you, stands there, he reverses a lot, and just stops you from approaching. And the counter pick is actually going to be Hollow Bastion here. Which, honestly, I think this is a good stage for both both characters here. So I'm actually not sure that this is the correct pick, but at the same time, they know a lot more than me about these specific characters, so I'll choose to trust their opinion on it. Yeah, and I think that I was just told that you do get more iron on this stage, which is really nice. I don't actually know the exact breakdown of the materials on each stage and what you do get. But it looks like Apollo Kage is still doing the same game plan and he's still doing a really good job of it. He's still able to just negate basically all of Oni's pressure just with these grenades. It seems like he is very well versed in this matchup. Like he knows exactly. I, like how many times has he played Aqua, you know? One time? How did it go? Game 5? Okay, so the last time we played Aqua was Game 5. So this is a really hard scenario. Again, doesn't have that good approaching options. Mm -hmm. And also, Snake is like so good at just packing off damage. Yeah. And a ball target. And he has combo late hit forward air into late hit up, and that did 32%. Well, I will say, AK, that guy's a stunner, that guy's a grinder. Underwatch, Kirk is the cold dog. Yeah. To see what Kirk was doing at this time. Oh, what's on your percent? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, 100 percent and then, in addition to that, Apollo Kage is just one of the best mentalities in terms of just like improvement, positivity, just being able to look back and pass that to going, okay, I see what I did wrong, I'm gonna do kick axe to correct it, I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't happen again. Exactly. One of the greatest mindsets Smash has ever seen. Oh, 100%. It's just the mindset, honestly, that all top players like really should have. Like that mindset of just like the fact that, okay, I lost. Yes, sometimes the game just things that we're not happy with. But sometimes the game just, that's the game. And if you play the game, you love the game, and you just have to take the necessary steps to improve the game. Another thing that might be going to make it happens is just the start of the new season, and although it doesn't count, you know, it's a new season, you're a new person. And, you know, AK didn't have the greatest last season, but he's obviously shown he's top 20, top 30 caliber player. You know, he's top 80 many years. So this is just like a nice mental refresh for him. Oh, 100. So he's thrown it with like the yeah, and I wouldn't even say he's like, Polokok is like even camping particularly hard right now. He's just playing very good patient control. Like, it's not like he's like running away repeatedly. He's just like playing very good neutral. I'm very happy with him. And although, Hawkle is going to hit him with the side beat, man grab, and TV. There. I'm just going to take that stock right there. Yeah, but let's see what he's able to do here. He hasn't lost the stock yet, so. Still got on this Oh yeah, but he is at up to percent, and you know that's exactly what Apollo Kage is looking for here. That is one thing I've seen though, he's been not throwing out these Owens like too much, like he's been playing super patient, waiting for Owen to mess up a lot of the time, which is I think what you gotta do, like don't get greedy for the kill, just play very slow, the kill will come eventually. Although sometimes, no exactly, although sometimes you wait too long, start taking a combo, now you're at 7, and now you die to an F pass, that lingering, lingering back here. <laughs> Gonna take that one right there, and last stop for Onan in this pool skate. And let's see what he's able to do, let's see if he can make the comeback against Snake. Probably... Yeah, like, who else is in this pool? You know? Nao's in this pool, Icy Mist is in this pool, and Oolong's in this pool. Yeah, so Onan already doesn't have a perfect track record against other people in this pool. I know Icy Mist is fine at the Steve matchup. Uh, Oolong, I think, struggles a little bit in the Steve matchup. But overall, there's just like a lot of people here that could give him a lot of trouble. And let's see, Apollo Kage gonna get caught with a grenade, actually gonna knock him out right there. And let's see how he's able to fight his way back on and just rack up some damage. Let's see how much extra credit he can get here. Oh, good jab, 1, 2, 3. I did not expect him to finish it, but I'm glad he did. Yeah, like literally just getting so much extra credit here. Like I think he's at 90 100 percent already. Oh, but only gonna find that back here. And let's see what he's able to do here. 
Holokage 100% lead. I think Onan does die to an up tilt here. So let's see if he's able to find this up tilt and take it out, or if Onan's gonna be able to fight his, fight his way back in. But Onan, right now, just choosing to approach the edge of the stage, but he's unable to do it. Just, these grenades are just making it so hard for Onan to back away, find resources, get those mats that he wants to do. No, 100%. He is just, like, so sneaky with these grenades. And that Nair catching him out of the minecart, 155%. He dies to a light tap at this point. He dies to a grab at this point. He got, like, three pummels, and then he just dies. But this is still Steve, so he's at 56%. Oh, I'm gonna go through that anvil. 184%. Let's see how Onan can fight his way back on stage here. 184%. Dies to grab, dies to possibly down tilt, but might die to a grenade soon. Oh no! Oh, I. Sometimes though, you just get down and you just lose. Score. Yeah. Pick one. Stop the battle, Snake! Enderman. Okay, it looks like we're gonna hop into game three here now. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go to small battlefield here. For this game three. And it looks like Onan's playing this one a lot slower than the others, trying to build as many walls as possible. Just take as much time to get those mats before Apollo Kage's able to put out enough pressure to take him out here. And he looks like he's doing a lot better than he was the previous games. And he's already at over 100%. Onan playing this one so much better than he was previously. It looks like he maybe just needed the first couple games to adapt. And now he's just able to put what he learned to the work. And it seems like he's able to rack up that percent a lot easier than he was in the last couple. But then again, still first stock. No stock has been taken yet. So much can still be done here. And that, these grenades just doing so much damage. The lingering hit of that back air, just gonna keep, keep that minecart from hitting him. And let's just see, I think whoever takes first stock, this might sound a bit obvious, but whoever takes first stock here in this matchup specifically, I think has such a better chance of taking this game. Great roll read by Apollo Kage there. Gonna hit them with the down smash, and then the Nikita gonna kill an AD off the side. Basically a controllable portable smash attack. And Apollo Kage, now that he has the lead, is going to be doing be, being able to do a lot of the same stuff that he did last game. A lot of the same, I don't want to necessarily even say camping, just he's doing such a good job of playing slow, playing patient, using these grenades to break the blocks, toss them over the walls, and just do such a good job of just forcing Onan to come to him, which works so well for Snake as a character. And see, just hit him with that trap right there, takes an easy 30, there's only so much that he's able to do there. And now Onan going right back to mining because he needs to get that diamond, he needs to fight his way back in the game. But with these grenades disrupting everything, destroying the minecart, destroying blocks, there's only so much he can do. And already at 67, Apollo Kage holding on to this first stock for dear life. See, and that grenade just gonna straight up beat that minecart, and now Onan does die to an up tilt right here. And if Apollo Kage takes a 3 stock to 1 lead, I don't know how Onan's gonna be able to come that one back, especially against Snake as a character. And let's see if Onan is able to get the stock camp. As I say that, gonna hit him with the back air. Fantastic move by him. But again, Apollo Kage is still up almost an entire stock. There's only so much. It's just controlling that Nikita forever. Fortunately, only gonna take 9% for it. That could have been a lot worse. And now, there's only so much more percent that Onan can take before he loses the stock. However, fighting his way back, Apollo Kage already at 70, but that back, you're gonna take the stock right now, and we're gonna go to last stock for Onan here. The charge down smash sending Apollo Kage off stage, and how is he gonna fight his way back on? Looks like, oh, 43% right there. Looks like Onan was getting ready for him to go to ledge with the TNT trap, but he just went, Snake has the ability just to avoid that completely and just go high, which is fantastic, the ability to do that. And Apollo Kage just literally just waiting for him to pick an option. He's Snake, he's able to do that. And this Very is why patiently, building up so much damage versus- Oh, and almost dying to the block there. Buff gonna make it through. And let's just see, at 100%, Onan at 78, what is he able to do here? 
he's almost dies to an up tilt here, but let's just see what I he's able to do. Oh my god. And that's oh, that's up there is gonna take it. Apollo Kage, 2 1 over Onin. Another big upset. Yeah, and he clearly knows this matchup really well. Probably prepared for Supernova. And a great job by him gonna take that. As soon as he took that first stock, though, he just so hard for Steve to just approach yes. there. Jared, do you want to break? Uh, sure. So I'm going to hop off for a bit. Okay, I'll find you a partner. And we're going to bring some other casters in for the next.